So after that third party Hazel custom came out from um, Magic Toys, I figured, okay, now we're going to be getting all the variants. So we'll get a Titans colored version, we'll get the Advanced Hazel, um, probably a couple other ones because there's a ton. And then we heard nothing from them, and then another company gave us the Wound Wart. Yeah, I was not expecting this. A Master Grade Wound Wart. It's not good. It has a plethora of issues. It's a crappy plastic, and it's the fact that all, almost all the pegs are too damn small. I don't know what they were doing. Like, all the pegs seem to be too small and for the body. It does look really good. I, I wouldn't... I don't regret buying it, okay? I wouldn't return it if I had the chance. I actually I love having a, such a weird looking bizarre mobile suit on my shelf with normal ones. With ones like the uh, Steinman. It just, it's so crazy that this came up I think before canonically or at the same time I think as that suit. It's so... Mangas and side stories are so bizarre. And I had a glue so many, so many parts, so many parts, you have no idea. Um, and even then, it's still a problem because the joints and the poly caps aren't that good either. But if you work on it for a while, you it does have some interesting articulation, especially the arm here. I don't know what that's about. Is that normal? Like, I haven't got the high grade. I should get the high grade. But I don't know what that's about. And I think it did have a couple. It does have a couple different kinds of hands. I think there's also a pair of open hands, besides the holding. And you can, I, that, would you call that a rotation? It's and it and it can and it can do that. I don't know why it can do that. It's got an actual hinge. That's not cool. And the legs, even though it's like, those are some thick thighs. Um, it, it can it can kind of move them. The thing is that the armor here hits the uh, protrusion of purple, so. It just, uh, it's, it's a problem. The heels are okay, but then because the Boomer has these dumbass feet with um, pop-out little like, heel spurs, which first off are, they, they love to stay in, but you know, they don't really like to stay out, that's for sure. They're just like little crappy kickstands, which I'm sure would work better if they had friction to them. Unfortunately, they really don't. They can also rotate, which I don't think is necessary, because it just pegged them in oh, really weirdly. Oh, and its butt can move. It does have, like, apparently the Walmart has a mobile armor mode, which as far as I can tell is just the lower half, the torso here, and the rest don't do anything. And I tried to do it with this thing, it didn't work. Once again, it, the proportions are not right. They're, they, everything is too close together, and the pegs are not long enough to actually... Like maybe get the get it around. Anyways, uh, there's also weaponry, just one. Actually two. Um, yeah, it's the same thing though. It's this. Um, I think it's like a shield booster, like a, a new version of the shield booster. It's got a cannon here. That's cool. It's got claws that can't really open. The back ones. I maybe I assembled this wrong because I don't know why the back ones would be able to open so much and the front ones barely at all. That's kind of strange. So that's probably on me. And then you got this thing. Which looks like a tail. It's got quite a few hinges. This is probably the best built piece on the entire model. That's scary. But I, if I remember correctly, you only get one. But the thing is, you get two. Which makes no sense. And besides just looking like this, you get the uh, weird heat, big ass heat rod. Which plugs, because I guess this end piece is a cannon, and even though you plug a sword into it, I think it can still fire. I remember if, if I remember the uh, G Generation series, and I was hoping this would have some kind of peg or something to connect to the mobile suit because all you got is that. And yeah, it's better to just glue the hand together. Of course, you know I didn't. I don't know why I'm dumb, but um, it has a hole in the back of the handle, and there is a tab. Go in, and if it does, this is a rather awkward weapon. It's not going to take long for it to fall out. It just is just really strange because of the way like I was hoping it would connect to its back or something even though the shoulders are crappy at least peg into the shoulder but it doesn't and that happens too because his, his lower half is so damn freaking heavy compared to the rest of them ah that, there you go oh wow, watch out that, there is your uh, long gun heat rod and you got two I'm not even going to attempt to put that in the other hand but I could, and then you have two, and that is looking pretty cool. Um, if you have a shelf with the space, that would look 
pretty awesome having both of them standing straight up. Like having both sticking, oops. Having both of these sticking straight up would be pretty nice on a shelf. I can't lie there. But this thing, it's, if you somehow find it, I mean, you're, and you don't have to pay a lot and you're curious, go for it. Just prepare to do a lot of work.